So what is a P file? P file is a text based initialization parameter that will be read by the database instance or any Oracle instance to start. P file kind of has become obsolete or SP file is the direction that Oracle is going these days. Okay, so these are text based files and can be edited only by a text editor like Notepad and it needs to be present in the same host as the SQL plus client application. Let me explain this. Let's say there is a server and the database resides on this. Okay, and then somebody is connected using their client, but then they are connected as uh, SysDBA. Okay, the the top and foremost authority in Oracle database. Okay, so they can start this database from here using a P file located in this host, even though nobody almost nobody uses this type of configuration but then it was still possible okay so they can have a p file here and using that they can start this database uh, again uh, nobody almost no, nobody is using this type of uh, configuration because that would be very cumbersome to manage so this p file needs to be present in the same host as the SQL plus client application which manages the instance. Most of the cases 99.999 I've, I've never seen anybody using like this but the 99.9 percent I would say the P file would also be located here and the DBS would be connected to the server and then use the P file and start the database instance. Okay, a database instance residing in a computer A can be started and stopped by SQL plus application running in computer B even though this method is rarely used. That's another main difference between SP file and P file. Like I said in the previous video, SP file is binary. Okay, P file is text based and SP file has to be located in the server where the instance, the database instance or ASM instance, whatever instance it resides. Okay, SP file has to be there. Okay, that's that's an uh, important difference. And a P file can be converted into an SP file. Thank you for watching.